Hi, my name is Stuck, and uh, this is Bounty Thursdays. And today's episode is sponsored by no other than the amazing team over at Pentester Lab. If you want to up your pen testing game and start from the beginning to advanced, check out pentesterlab.com. Okay, so word list is a really important part of any pen tester or a bounty hunter's toolkit. It's used for content discovery or enumerating subdomains and other stuff. So when the team over at Asset Note dropped a curated selection of some of the amazing word lists that they have created over the year, I, I kind of lost it a bit. That, that's so cool. We haven't seen anything on this level since uh, Seclist started to be really to, to the level where it is today. So I'm just going to read straight out what Shub said in his tweet. Good word lists are so important when discovering content on an asset. At Acid Note, we build a word list site that updates itself on a monthly basis. For added value, we included some of our best word lists that we manually collected too. And then just short after that, another tweet came out. I've just added the API routes word list containing 953,000-ish possible API paths from the HTTP archive dataset. Downloaded over at wordlist.acidnote.io. Short after that was released, John Barber spent some time looking at these and find a really cool way to just clean up this word list a bit to, you know, purge them a bit, Re remove some of the lines that aren't needed. So he created a script that's really useful in any kind of case when you're creating word lists. So it removes noisy characters, any any line that has over 100 characters is going to be removed. Um, if there's more consecutive to digits in the end, it's most likely like an ID is going to be removed. And there's a lot of small things that he added here that's going to just remove all that extra stuff. You know, you, you probably don't need to fuss with something that ends with a image file format or a, or a music file format like MP3 or WAV or something. So this is a really cool script. I absolutely recommend you to use that on all your current word list to remove that extra noise because even though requests are free, um, it's always nice to not chug everything that you have at a target. So be a little bit polite. And also it's good for you to know that what you're throwing at it is actually relevant. Otherwise it's just idiotic. When you're doing all this fussing, you end up with having a lot of four ones or three authentication things that are in your way. And you're like, ah, I wish I could bypass that. Low View High has created a really simple script that could help you with the process of finding the anomalies that the security team or the app developers hasn't really thought about. So when you run this script, it's going to try all these different headers. It's going to try all these different path bypasses and all these other things. It's really, really useful. And since it's a simple bash script that uses curl, um, it's something that I think is worth building upon. So maybe maybe this could be automated. So if you're running HTTPX and getting a 403 or FFUF or something, it's going to just kick off and, and do the, all these bypasses and see if you can get a 200. I, I, it has huge potentials for anyone that's interested in, in just building upon it. So definitely check out LowViewHi's GitHub repo and contribute to a bypass 4xx. The Project Discovery's template scanning tool Nuclei has been updated to version 2.2 and it has a massive amount of cool new features. I'm just going to read this straight out for you. Earlier versions of Nuclei used the base Go HTTP library. The requests were strictly validated and non-specific compliant requests were dropped. The new release comes with an unsafe attribute. Using our raw SDB library, which allows sending any kind of malformed request to detect interesting behavior and allow unlimited control over the sent requests. And this also opened up potentials to play around with race conditions. Using the idea based around, let's say, Turbo Intruder, where all the requests get queued up and have a gate where in the end all the requests are being released at the same time with the same byte. So we have a lot of really interesting ways to play around with this here. And you can also add some new HTTP pooling and some fussing support. Yeah, there's there's 
there's some really cool stuff in here. You can also even add in support for a burp collaborative polling. So if you're sending a request out and you want to make sure if it hits and, and, and talks to your collaborator, you, you can just submit your burp collaborative BID there and see if you have a hit. It's really interesting. I love this kind of innovation when it's coming out. And man, I'm going to play around with templates. That's for sure. This Friday, that is tomorrow if you're watching it, on Thursday, <laughs> the 27th of November, Integrity is bringing our all-time favorite rapper, Whitey Cracker, live on their stage for the 1337 Up live session. It's gonna be really cool, so make sure you head over to the Integrity's YouTube channel to check that live performance out. But if you want to start listening to the beats already now, you can head over to YT Cracker SoundCloud for some of those nice nerdcore beats. This is about everything we have for this week, but lo and behold, a new episode will be out already next week because I'm gonna smash out a couple of episodes here uh, for the for the end of the year before I take my break in January. So until next time, or until next week, stay curious.